you know, it's probably not the question you expect first, but how important was it for Jimenez to hustle there? And I'm so glad you asked that because that was the one thing I wanted to make sure I didn't get out of here without saying because that that's the ball game. And that's, and we've been preaching since the first day of spring training, just push, push. You never know, push. And, and his quad hasn't been feeling great. He's done a good job of managing it. He did it. That was, that's, that's a game winner right there for us. I mean, just, we've talked on and on and on about what you guys have done offensively up in the seventh. It be a young team. And I think Matt asked before the game, does that just become a mentality because of the success in the past or is it something? I hope so. I mean, I think it's our obligation to try to take everything that happens and turn it into an advantage, whether we learn from a mistake or you feel good about something. But, but we also put the ball in play. And, and we got a number of guys who can run. So that helps. Thoughts on Tristan? Boy, kind of a weird game. You know, like, I mean, you look up, Gave up two solos again, but that's it. Um, you know, we can eliminate that. He's, and it's happened in a couple games where that's the only thing that he's given up. I mean, you look up and six innings is two runs. That's pretty good. Hard to say it's a – you know, I don't say want to say it's a concern, but – because he's not giving up a lot of hits, he's not walking uh, guys. You know what, Andre? I think there's a lot of other things that would be more concerning, walks, things like that. There's some Hall of Fame pitchers that gave up a lot of solo homers, like Catfish Hunter and Burke Blylev. And he, he, I mean, and again, I'm not trying to, you know, but I mean, maybe it's a byproduct of, you know, he just, he mislocated one fastball to the catcher. It was 2-0 and he threw it middle up. And the other one, he kind of threw it into Seth Smith's kind of his zone. Bullpen we'll again tonight. Just when you went away, just to keep, for them to keep and them. different guys, which because we didn't, we had about three guys that weren't available. So it gets us back in order, and they also did a good job. That really, that really helps a ton. Third baseman is pretty good. He's not bad, is he? He's not bad. Doubles the other. I mean, way. he almost, you know, earlier in the game. I think we thought he gave us a, a little lead, but didn't quite get it. But he's dangerous every time he gets up there. One of the best pull hitters in baseball. Basically, you know, most of his career. I think that was the second time in his career that he had two doubles opposite. What does that say about where he's at right now? I, you know, <laughs> how many times have we said, you know, if he's keeping the ball fair, he's going to hurt you. You know, for a while there, when he was struggling back, maybe a couple of years, he was making hard contact, but he was pulling a lot of them foul. If he starts hitting the ball from line to line, look out. You know, I asked you about uh, Ramo Reyes pregame. He said you'd have an update. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to do it. Now, um, um, let me regroup here a little bit. I wasn't ready for that one. Uh, we did talk to him. We had a good conversation. He's going to... What is today? Thank you. He's going to hit on the field tomorrow. Sunday's kind of a hard day to do anything on the field because it's like a 930 start or something. You know, it's some silly. So he'll have an indoor day that day. He'll work out at the ballpark on Monday. And then he will go DH Tuesday in Columbus. And we kind of went out for, for about – I think th three days into Columbus, we didn't go any farther than that just because that that, that was like five or six days there. So what's his attitude been like? Is he Outstanding. Outstanding. What's Austin? What Austin is about in the ninth inning having a bat like that pressure? I mean, we keep asking about these different situations. You know, sometimes you just get out of their way because you don't want to make them nervous. I mean, they're, they're young, they're having fun, they're playing. The, as long as they play the game, try to play the game the right way, I mean, and it, it's enjoyable. You know, we're going to get up against some men, and we got some kids. They're doing okay. Uh, they took Blackford out at Randy. He had a point pitch. When they took him out, did that give the dugout a little bit of a lift there going into that bottom of the ninth? How good he was for Well, no, I wouldn't say lift. I mean – I, I, 
he, he put on kind of a clinic tonight. I mean, in the in this era where you see fastball, he used four pitches and he he really looked like a veteran out there pitching. Um, I think Hosey's the one that gave us a lift. All of a sudden it's two to one. We got the tie and run of the plate. When you get the tie and run of the plate, you okay, we got a chance. I mean, that kid they brought in is pretty good. All right, guys.